everyone and thank you for tubing our channel. This is a book entitled Letters from a Nut by Ted L. Nancy, copy written in 1997 and we will continue reading. <clears throat> Dear Mr. Meyer, I had a seating question and I was referred to you because I understand you manufacture stadium and arena seating. My question, when entering or exiting a seat in a stadium, which is the proper side to face the person sitting down? Rear to them or crotch to them? I am always at a quandary when this problem comes up. To hence, Last week, at a sporting event, I had to leave my seat. There were a row of people, all from the same family, that were sitting down the row. I exited my seat, stood up, and faced away from this family. Then I moved down the row, realizing that my buttocks were not two inches from this whole guy's family. I had shown an entire family my rear end. But then again, if I had turned around, and move down the aisle that way, wouldn't that be worse? Stadium seating is the only situation in life where you can show whole rows of people your butt or crotch, and it's acceptable. Can something be done about this seating? Should the rows be changed? I suggest a single row straight up to the top. You walk into the stadium, you simply find your seat number and go up until you get it. Question, is there a gracious way to exit? Thank you, sir, for your response. Ted L. Nancy. This was dated July 10th, 1995. On August 3rd, 1995, Mr. Nancy receives a response. Dear Mr. Nancy, your letter on crotch or butt first was most interesting. In fact, in all 38 years which I have been in this business, it is probably the most interesting question I have ever been asked. I have shared your letter with numerous of my colleagues, and they have also found it most interesting. But alas, we have no good answer. Your idea of a single chair has merit, but unfortunately would greatly reduce the number of chairs we could, which could be put in the building. The only suggestion we come up with for, is for you to come early before anyone has arrived, stay in your seat for the entire time, and wait until everyone else has gone before leaving. This, of course, would cause an even more embarrassing problem. If you come up with any solutions, we would welcome hearing from you. Sincerely, Albert H. Meyer. <clears throat> 